奄美は小さい時から活発で元気でいつも笑ってる子供でしたよくお笑い芸人のモノマネなんかはしてましたねマミは今と変わらずいつも友達に囲まれてニコニコといつも楽しく過ごしていました、えー、そうですね砂場に行くともうずっとそこから離れなくって何かしらずっと作っていましたねと友達が邪魔すると来ないで来ないでって言ってあの入れさせない感じで自分の作りたいものを最後まで作り上げてるような子でした最初は、えー、父親が、えー、駐車場とかで、えー、オーリーなどしてプッシュやらして遊んでいたんですけれどもそれをいつもは遠くから見ていたんですがたまたま、えー、近くの、えー、パークに行っている時に僕はスケートボードをしながら大きくスラムをしたんですで僕のデッキがコロコロと流れていって僕が「あいたた」あと寝転んでる時にその流れていったデッキを拾ってプッシュをキラキラ笑いながらやり始めてあースケートボードそろそろしたいんだなって思いますそれが多分3歳ぐらいだったと思うんですけどおそらくもうマミの運命だと思います。もう目の前にスケートボードがあってスケートボードをやってる人たちがいてそうなったらもうやるしかないと思うんでマミの運命ですね。I got into the transition skating because my home skate park has a lot of like transition setup. I don't think transition skating is big in Japan, but there's like so many DIY stuff and then like it's small compared to the States. The first time I met Mommy was at the Exposure Contest and she was skating the AM division and I just remember she like really stood out from all the girls. I think over COVID, you could see like Mommy skating went from like really good to like next level. It's so cool skating with Mommy, like she's such a fun person to be around. It's fun especially just because like she's so like easy going and she'll like try like really gnarly stuff and I don't know, it's just like fun to be around. It's definitely inspiring. Like, When I'm around her, I want to push myself to be better. I like doing both, but competition is like kind of stressful for me because I don't know. I like to see everyone at the contest, but filming part is like more fun for me. Filming part is like it doesn't have to be like really hard, tricky trick, but like you can see the style and like progress. Of the skating, I think that's important. We were at this ditch in Long Beach, and she was like trying to do this wall ride with us and like going for it, and then she slammed harder than seriously I've ever seen her slam, just trying to drop in on this bank and just full scorpion into her face and just got up laughing, classic mommy, you know, and like, and then she got the trick after, and it was just like that determination that she had and like. Just willing to take a slam and like battle it out, like to me was like special, you know. And I could tell like that if that's how she was, like she's only gonna get gnarlier, 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 you know. And and I think she has the right people in Japan guiding her and like skating the right kind of stuff to where it's almost like helped her, like skating these rough DIYs her whole life and all the stuff in Japan. It's like when she went and skated a pool for the first time, it was like. Tristan Rennie, who's one of the best pool skaters ever, was like, Well, in one day, you're the best girl pool skater I've ever seen. But it's like, she'd been like skating all this stuff in Japan and having the right people guide her and take her to these spots. And I think all that, like her community in Japan, her community here, has like made her this special skateboarder that I think like anyone could relate to street skater or bowl skater. You know, you can't like deny. How good she looks on a board and is having fun while doing it all. 今日はカリフォルニアに来ています。これからマミの夢が叶うイベントに
向かおうと思っています。自分を信じてずっと続けてきた娘がこうプロになるって認められたことが、えー、本当に素晴らしいし、えー、もう尊敬します。はい、えー、よかったねって思います。これからなんじゃないのかなってすごく思いますけれどもスケートボードをすることによって自分の人生が豊かになっていけばいいなって思ってます。I used to watch all the P-Stone stuff yeah, and then I grew up watching Grosso's Love Letters all those videos inspires me a lot and then Lizzie she's one of the really good my friend but she does a lot to women skateboarding and I want to be like Lizzie like I want to inspire all the girl skaters and young people do what you love and then don't scare to be yourself